There are a few things that Tumblr users love. Getting upset, relatable one-liners, seasonal Starbucks drinks, um, I don't know, Thomas Sanders for some reason. Oh, and also animation. Animated movies and shows are the bread and butter of Tumblr, with shipping blogs, fan art, gift sets, and fandom-related drama filling the site. But what happens when an 18-year-old Tumblr user decides to create her own animated show? Well, what happens is one of Tumblr's largest controversies and a scam that would go on to become infamous. One of the classic staples of Tumblr is the OMG guys let's make this into a real thing posts. We should make Tumblr into a school. We should make this fanfic into a real book. If Dashcon taught us anything, it's that when Tumblr wants to make something into a real thing, don't fucking make the thing. Here's the story of Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles. Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles, you know they're gonna- it all started on a cloudy day in the Terra Nova National Park in Newfoundland. Constable Suzanne Bork of the Royal Canadian Mountain Police was interviewing witnesses who had reported multiple bear sightings in the area. Miraculously, one of the bears approached the officer during her investigation, leading to this infamous picture. The image circulated for a while, even being published in the Telegram before it made its way onto Tumblr, as everything inevitably does. The picture was posted in 2012, but it wouldn't be until 2014 when it would set in motion the scandal that it became famous for. Tumblr user Taipet reblogged the post noting that it would make a great cartoon. A few days later, the artist Lemon Tea Flower reblogged the photo, adding her own drawing of the duo and christening them Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles. The post gained over 170,000 notes and a few days later, three more drawings would be posted all in the style of fake animated screen caps. These drawings would gain an insane amount of popularity, especially after the original officer from the photo posted a picture of herself with one of Lemon Tea Flower's drawings. A fan animation on YouTube also popularized the characters, gaining over 150,000 views and hundreds of comments begging for a TV show to be made about the two characters. Uh, aside from this comment. <laughs> From here on, the characters would only grow in popularity, spreading through Tumblr with fan art, animations, and even official merchandise. And then, something terrible happened. They launched a Kickstarter. Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles, you know they're gonna- Oh, the Kickstarter. Where to begin with the Kickstarter? Well, maybe let's begin with their $80,000 asking price for a 7 minute pilot. Now everyone knows that animation is expensive and takes a long time, but 80 grand for a 7 minute pilot of this quality made by college students is just a little bit ridiculous. I'm not saying an animation like this would be cheap whatsoever, but $80,000 is much too high of an asking price for a 7 minute internet cartoon. What makes the pricing even more egregious is this pie chart posted on the Kickstarter which shows how the money will be spent. And uh, wow, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of merchandise. There's more merchandise than animation. They're doing the old Hasbro technique. After seeing the weird mix of low and highballing on the pie chart and the ludicrous funding goal, many Tumblr users felt that the Kickstarter was at best greedy and at worst suspicious. Despite this, the Kickstarter page only brought more attention to the project with pledges flooding in alongside fan art and messages of support. However, behind the scenes, things weren't looking very good. A Tumblr user by the name of Bees My God posted an expose on the treatment of the show's animators, including a culture of bullying, unprofessionalism, and hypocrisy. Even more damning were the claims that animators hadn't been properly paid with producers purposely withholding money or paying a fraction of what was promised. At this point, the love and support surrounding the project was beginning to turn to suspicion and mockery. This suspicion led Tumblr user Vororo to email the company Squishable which Lemon Tea Flower had claimed would be creating a prototype plushie for the Kickstarter as a reward. However, when contacted, Squishable said that they had never heard of the campaign and had never been in contact about the matter. Keep in mind that at this point, Tumblr users were already suspicious of the project due to its high monetary goal and poor treatment of artists, but this really pushed it over the edge. Callouts and hate posts began piling up, calling the animation shoddy and dissuading people from donating lest they be scammed out of their money. Officer Suzanne Bork even came to the artist defense, though her post was vague at best. Lemon Tea Flower's age was also a huge point of contention surrounding the project. After all, 18 is an extremely young age to be leading an animation studio and managing an 
dollar Kickstarter campaign. Rumours also began to circulate that the bear cub from the original image had been shot and killed after the photo was taken, though dubiously the RCMP disputed this, claiming that they killed a different cub and not the one from the photo. Kind of just uh, arguing over semantics at that point. Despite this fact not really relating to the project, some Tumblr users claim that the crew were using the death of this animal to gain a profit. I mean, I don't really see the correlation in this situation, but I guess it's kind of an interesting insight into how a lot of those like cute viral animal pictures do have darker sides. With the project falling apart at the seams, callouts and articles criticizing the project and its creators began to come out, questioning the Kickstarter's legitimacy. At this point, the page had gained over $10,000 in backing money, which was a huge talking point among critics, but by this point there was only a few days until the campaign would end. With no realistic way to earn the rest of the money in that short of a time frame, the project was pulled from Kickstarter. Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles, you know they're gonna get the fallout from Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles was immense. Lengthy callouts were being posted daily, accusing the project of being the scam, and in the following years, the scandal would make it onto many top 10 lists of Tumblr's biggest dramas. While this project is always branded as a scam, the truth is that no money was taken, as it was nowhere near reaching its $80,000 goal. Lemon Tea Flower made a Kickstarter post on July the 11th, five days before the Kickstarter was to end. In the post, she pretty much admitted that the project wouldn't reach its final funding goal considering it would need $70,000 in 5 days, which like, unless you have some rich benefactor waiting to swoop in, it's not happening. The post covered the team's plan going forward, which included a webcomic, a patreon, and an expanded collection of merchandise. Their goal was basically to try and keep the series alive through means other than animation since they didn't hit their goal but they wanted to keep that sweet sweet hype train going. A few days later, a final update to the kickstarter would be added, promising more content and after that? Radio Silence. The last Tumblr update was six years ago with no sign of any TV pictures, webcomics, or merchandise as promised. It's fair to assume that by this point it wasn't really seen as the cute inside joke among Tumblr users that it once was. Instead, it had become another source of embarrassment for the site. Another failed project turned scam in the same vein of the ARC project or Dashcon. Looking back through the tag posts at the project's peak, there was so much love surrounding this project from piles of fan art to messages of support to pictures of people wearing Miss Officer and Mr. Truffle shirts, which just really haven't aged well. <laughs> I believe that Lemon Tea Flower goes by another name and works in the animation industry these days, as do a number of animators and artists for Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles. While most of these artists have been able to successfully cut ties with the project, I don't think it's a scandal that will go away anytime soon. From the project's suspiciously high monetary goal to the creator's disturbing past to the almost incredible 180 in attitude towards the project, Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles will live on as one of Tumblr's biggest scandals. After all, this series exemplifies the the classic Tumblr drama cycle. Step 1, innocent, cute, in joke or meme spreads around Tumblr. 2, it gains a huge amount of attention. Step 3, someone inevitably takes it way too far and vows to make it a real thing. 4, everyone gets excited as the project grows larger in scope before everyone realizes it was a poorly managed trash fire. Step 5, the creator is outed as having some horrifically problematic past. Step 6, people denounce the project. I'm um, holding the mic in my other hand so I, I can't put six fingers up. Step 7 years later it finds itself in the Tumblr Hall of Fame to be reminisced about. So there you have it, the tumultuous story of Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles, an $80,000 animated pilot created by an 18 year old based on a gimmicky one-off image on Tumblr. Please keep in mind that my videos are for informational and entertainment purposes and are never a call to attack or harass anyone. While the actions of some of these artists may be disturbing, I implore you not to harass or target them. This video is simply meant to be an interesting little bit of internet history since it's such a popular story and many were asking me to cover it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Miss Officer and Mr. Truffles You know they're gonna get in lots of trouble Catching criminals and there's a